Aliens. Good morning. Finally surfaced of you. Chris, are you busy today? Naturally. Well, I was thinking maybe we could spend a bit of time together. No can do. I hardly see you these days. Because you're too busy pandering to Debbie and Kane. Pandering? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I thought you were happy having Debbie around. And in a way, she was your idea. Not in the mood to argue. Nor am I. Especially since though we've got the place to ourselves. Are you sure you can't be tempted? I've got a business to run. Morning. Hi. Hi. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Sleep all right? No thanks to Shadrach. I'm not having you stopping here if you're going to start stirring up trouble. Me? You're up to somewhere to know you are. I weren't born yesterday. I thought I'd do us a nice breakfast. Yeah. As long as it's nothing too high for looting. How about a good old fashioned fry up? Mmm. That'll do. Have you any more? Right. This isn't good enough. I was promised that parcel would arrive by today. When it arrives, Paul will deliver it. The promises were made. I don't run the postal service. Hello, Edna. How are you keeping? What's that supposed to mean? Civilities are lost on her. I expect that package by first thing tomorrow. What package? Otherwise, I shall be writing a letter of complaint. Oh, I look forward to that. Oh, don't, don't rush off, Edna. I fancy a natter. How about a treat you to a nice cup of tea and a currant bun? Do I look like I need charity? Oh, look, watch where you're going. Oh, is that your lap dancing friend then? Oh, what lap dancing friend? <laughs> oh, I'm here. Uh, just the paper, please. You can tell us. Uh, why would I want to do that? <laughs> uh, well, her name's Yolanda. Legs up to her armpits, by all accounts. Who's a lucky boy then? Well, I'm irresistible. What can I do? <laughs> oh, she seems keen. Yeah, they always are. Mm, playing hard to get. Oh, you know what they say? Treat them mean. <laughs> You're supposed to be studying today. I can't revise without pen and paper, can I? Well, you can get that at Bibbs. You don't have to go all the way into Hotton. Well, I need some books from the library and all. Look, Dad, I'm not stupid. If I were going to bunk off, then I'd wait till you'd gone to work, wouldn't I? All right. Yeah? I'll be off for those lambs today. That's OK. I can sort it. That's my job. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm there anyway. Yes, lad, I know you are. I forgot about that money I owe you. It's me you owe. Dad, give me a tenner. A tenner? Well, Robert can't be bailing you out. Let's not make a big deal about it, eh? Your kid will be waiting for me. I must get back. Here we go. Ta. <sighs> What's that? Kedgery. What's kedgery? Rice and fish. Uh -huh. uh. Queen eats it. Oh, I see. It's good enough for the Queen, but we're only worth egg and bacon. Is that what you're trying to say? You told me you didn't want so fancy. You are trying my patience, you are. Oh. Where are they? Where's what? He knows. You talking to me? What's he done? Nick me trainers. I can't go anywhere near your feet. You probably ate them in your sleep. I am not messing. No, I stop it! <laughs> Trying to have a civilised breakfast. Marlon, do you know the whereabouts of Shadrach's trainers? I do. Not. Nor do I. This is a conspiracy. Um, do you want me to help me find him? I can do my own dirty work. 
You're late. Five minutes. What are you doing about Butler's farm? We've got some prospective tenants coming for a look around tomorrow. So why haven't you told that son of yours to pack his bags? Oh, I have. Believe me. I've applied for an interim possession order. Right. One of us had to. Are you going to tell him the good news, or is that something else I'll have to do for you? I'll have a word when I go up there. I don't want you to have a word. I want you to drag him and that trophy girlfriend of his kicking and screaming off my land. I don't know why I employ you as estate manager. You can't even manage your own family. If you've got something to say, say it. Chris, I want them off that farm as much as you do. Marlon! I'll be late for work. I can't find the washing up liquid. I suppose you filed it somewhere. <sighs> well, where's the carrots? What are they doing in there? Look, look, it's very simple, all right? Food goes in there. Crockery goes here. Now, cleaning solvents, boot polish, and other sundry toxins that shouldn't, as it happens, share the same shelf space as things we put in our mouths go in here. I see. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be helpful. As long as I know where they are. Ah, Sinis. I'll be off then. I know for you now, don't deny it. I'm denying nothing. I've done the world a favour. Never mind the world. What about my feet? You haven't burnt Shadrach's trainers. Come on, somebody had to. He can't walk around with no shoes on. He'll have to replace them. How can they be re replaced? He can buy you a new pair. No new. Wait a minute. What? They do cheapens at Otten Market. Cheap? I've had them for 15 years. Six months, you told me. Go on. They've got sentimental value. I'm a martyr to my feet. I can't wear just any old rubbish. I'll give you a fiver. He burns me boots and then he mocks me. Give him ten quid. Twenty. How much? Criminal damage, that. <laughs> What are you going to do? Bet your bobby. Give him the money! Happy now? I've been happy since 1978. <laughs> hey, oh. Morning, Edna. Vicar. I told you. You offer an olive branch and she snaps it in two like so much firewood. You do realise that it's six weeks since she set foot in this church. When was that? A week before Easter. That's the last time she parked her rear on one of your pews. Now, what are you going to do about it? I can't force her to attend church. You're her vicar. It's your pastoral duty to tell her that she should book her ideas up. The last time I took your advice, she resigned from the parish committee. So, we go on letting her ignore us, do we? I'll pop round and see her this afternoon. Good, I'll come with you. No, no. Ashley, I'm her friend. Well, we don't want her to feel that we're ganging up on her. Too obstinate for her own good, that's her problem. We should do something. Hmm? Go for a walk, visit me dad. We can't just slob out like this on a day off. You want me? Okay, you've taught me round. Just ignore it. Barry? It's Chris. Just leave it. I'm sorry. I can't just leave him on the doorstep. There you go. Thank you. Come in. Mm. I've put the lambs in the pen. I saw. Do you want to handle them? I'd like a word first. I'm not here to have a go. I just wanted to explain developments. Well, what developments? Well, you know you can't stay here indefinitely. We weren't planning to. It's just okay to finish his exams. Yeah, and he's found himself a job. Just a few weeks, Dad, you know that. I told you, Jack. It's not up to me, though. Chris Tate has applied for an interim possession order. Well, what does that mean? It means that once the order comes through, you'll have 24 hours to vacate the premises or be forcibly evicted. 
So a few odd jobs need doing up at the house. Maybe you could give Sid a call. Consider it done. You're looking forward to getting fat? You what? The baby. Oh, right. Wish you all the best. Children can be a heavy responsibility. Joseph's coming home this week, isn't he? He's bringing a friend with him, Anton. What sort of name's that? French. School run and exchange program. Keep you on your toes. Frankly, I'm not sure this is the best time to be entertaining schoolmates. No. Oh, um, look, our lunch is ready. Oh. You can join us if you like. I mean, it's only a pasta bake. I'd be delighted to. Thank you. Well, is there some way you can delay things? Why would I want to? We can't move out yet, not until Kate's finished her exams. Well, Chris has got people ready to move in. What, have they have a word with him? He wants you out. No ifs or buts. Well, we've got nowhere else to go, Dad. Yes, you have. The last thing I want to see is you two out on the streets. You've made your point now. Isn't it time we put all this nonsense behind us and sorted out our differences? Robert and Victoria really miss you. We don't belong there anymore, Dad. This isn't about me trying to stop you doing anything. You're breaking the law. If you want a playhouse, then find somewhere for yourselves that belongs to you. I've got to get this lot shifted. I'll give you an hand. I can manage. Katie! I hope one day that you'll have a place of your own. I really do. But this isn't the way to go about it. Steak and chips! Somebody order steak and chips? That's me. No, I didn't. I ordered steak and chips. The US is a barbie with the big boobs. She'll tell you it's paid for. How can you afford steak? I've got a benevolent patron. I gave you that money for new trainers. Good problem solved. <laughs> you know what you are? A starving man. A charlatan. A cheat. A parasite. That's what you are. Give us the grub I paid for. It chokes you. You won't get the better of me, son. Oi! Is that finished? Oh, my yeah. Thanks again for lunch. Our pleasure. I'll have to return the favour someday. You're all right. Sure you don't fancy a pint? Oh, we've um, got things planned. Don't forget to call Sid. No problem. Ow! We can have to invite him to stay. He's been having a hard time of it lately. Yeah, we're well, gonna have to work very hard to make this up to him. I can do that. Terry! Shut up, woman. <laughs> I paid for this fair square. Shift. I'm not standing for this. Excuse me. That blonde's just not fine. Right, that'll be 50p. What? For them, and two quid for that beer you need. You talk to me about thieving. Go play with the traffic. <coughs> no, what? Shadrach, I'm sorry, but play for sympathy, what? What? <coughs> Shadrach? Shadrach? <coughs> 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 It's okay. He's okay. Uh, okay. I'm dying. He's forward. That'll teach you to know what is it yours. It's been changed. Get up. Malu, tell me up. Let me tell me up. Hi there. Vicar? We didn't get a chance to say hello properly this morning. I said hello. You can't have been listening. Edna, how long are you going to keep this up? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. 
You used to be the eyes and ears of this village. For the past month, you've hardly ventured out of your house. Nonsense. Is it? How many of my invitations have you responded to? Apparently, you've even stopped complaining about Jarvis's music. People are missing you. I have a right to my privacy. I don't like to see you turn your back on your friends. Oh, you can't keep blaming yourself for what happened to the church funds. No one holds you responsible. I'm happy keeping myself to myself. I'm not sure I believe that. You can believe whatever you like. Good day. Kind of crisps. I don't know. Was it chasing on you? Does it matter? Oh, you're still alive then. Where's Lisa? She's out. I, I need Lisa. <clears throat> Shall I go and fetch it? I boy needs a doctor. Shadrach, do you need a doctor? I am not deaf. There might be some food still stuck. Ah, uh, it's me testes of fire. It might be an heart attack. Indigestion. Um, sh shall I drive him to doctors? You can't drive. Uh, what? It's an emergency. I'll phone a taxi. Taxi's no good. I'll be six feet under by the time they fetch up. You're going to have to take me. I'm expecting back at work. I can't even get a dime request. Lisa won't be happy if he pegs it. Well, we get him in the van. Do you want a flake? And raspberry sauce. And raspberry sauce. And sprinkles. Oh, just bong everything you got on, mate. She's pregnant. <laughs> Terry! Tap. Oh, get rid of her. Yeah, all right. Listen, uh, have you seen Chris? Uh, he popped in for his dinner. Oh, well, that'll explain it then. I think he's trying to avoid me. You know what he can be like. Still in one of his moods, is he? Couldn't say. Oh, come on, he talks to you. Why do you blokes sulk all the time, eh? Do you think it makes you look sexy? Because he doesn't, you know. Oi! One of them's mine! Oh. Come here! Oh. Come. Go, go. Go, go. Go. <sighs> it's as I suspected. Broken rib. It's not my heart, then. No, Mr Dingle. I can assure you, your heart is not broken. It's been broke for years. It's little more than a hairline crack, but I'm afraid you can expect it to be quite painful for a while. <sighs> I'll need drugs. Can I have my pen? Sorry? Ah, oh, safekeeping, yeah. My dad swore by morphine. He was terrible with his lungs. I think you'll be fine with painkillers. The rib will heal itself over a few weeks, and the most useful thing you can do is be careful how you eat in future. Well, I don't see how a crisp can knack in me ribs. It wouldn't have been the crisp. This kind of injury is quite commonly the result of overzealous first aid. Are you telling me that this is down to that thug that assaulted me? Hardly assaulted. He probably saved your life. <laughs> There's a pharmacy in reception. <laughs> Come on, Sammy Lamb. <laughs> Hiya. Could use one of them. Help yourself. So, how was your day? So, he's asked us to be godparents for Jean. I said yes. I trust that's not a problem. Of course it's not a problem. Good. Listen, Chris, do you think I should get myself a new dress? Silly question, really. We'll have to have a trip to Leeds soon. It's about time we had a spending spree. I've seen this cashmere suit that's got your name all over it. Chris? Ah, uh, uh, oh, careful. We're almost there, love. Uh, uh, can I get you out? The bath wouldn't go amiss. I need a bed bath to stay at home in. Sammy, fetch a flannel. Uh, no, I'll take those. What did the doctor say? 
My ribs are broken. Shadrach tells me you attacked him. I saved his life. He was, he, was, he was choking. Did he tell you that? You could have waited for me at the doctor's. Yeah, he had to walk back from the bus stop. I was needed back at work. Dude, that's all you care about. Yes, yes. I realise it's an alien concept to you. Be kind to him. He is poorly. Here. <laughs> hmm? Happy now? They'll do. Sammy, lad, give us that, will you? They cost a fortune, in case you're interested. It'll take more than fancy footwear to make amends. The doctor has put him on medication. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What was I supposed to do? Leave him to choke to death? You wish you'd have the time I finished with you. I know what you're going on about. <laughs> Legal recompense. I'm suing you for GB8. Huh? Personal injury. Call it what you like. Be fair, I saved your life! Shadrach, love, think about what you're saying. I've never got a court. That's not what Mr Backshaw reckons. Who's Mr Backshaw? My legal representative. And he reckons that administering first aid when you don't know what you're on about is a moral dereliction. That sounds important. 2,000 quid if I'm looking. This... This has got to be a joke. Am I laughing? I'll kill him! Ah! Oh, there he goes again! Behave yourself, man, and I am sick of telling you! This means war! I hope you realise that! 